Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are going to be doing another layout. Um, it's We're still using Life's a Hoop collection and we're still using sketches. So I've got this one right here. Super cute. I've already, this one's by Laura Whitaker. I've already pulled out my title. It's Happy Moments and it's going to be these alphas from Felicity Jane. I do have some stuff on my desk sitting right over here that I'm trying to get used up. And this is some of it. So, yeah, we're going with a very generic title. This is Happy Moments. Um, you can see we have got some banners on here. Really cute. We've got this little piece that runs underneath it. So, on for that, I pulled out my stamp and thin cuts. This I got from the card workshop. The card kit workshop. I love this die right here. So, I went ahead and cut out two of those. I used the glitter, the black glitter paper from Close to My Heart. Um, yeah, so I cut two of those because it's going to run the span of, I'll have to cut some down somewhere, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to, um, you can see right here also on the sketch, it's, it's, it has a diagonal line. So we're going to use this as part of our diagonal and the other part is just going to be white cardstock. I will trim this off and then to get my diagonal line, I'm just going to fold my paper in half and freehand cut it on the line, the crease that I make. I will ink the edges of everything with a mist. It's what I've been using with this collection for the last several layouts, and I really like the way it looks. So we're going to continue on with the mist while we're using this collection. But that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to ink the edges to kind of give a smoother line in case I have any wonky cuts in there. So that's what we're doing with this diagonal piece for the... Banners, I do have, this is what I have left of this collection. So I do have several card stocks and I have got um, three other papers. Of course, I have the back side of this we can play with as well. And I have a bunch of scraps. So I can probably still get a couple more layouts at Elisa Hoot and we're going to. So, okay. So that's what I'm doing with that. But this collection was very heavy on the butterflies. Well, not very heavy, but kind of. Because here is the stamp and thin cuts for the um, card making workshop kit. So, it, I mean, we got butterflies and then we have one little bee, which is very, very cute. But we're not going to focus on the bees. We're going to be looking at the butterflies. So what I have here is I cut out thin cuts of the shape of the butterfly out of that same glitter cardstock. And then I cut these out and stamp them. I'm going to go ahead and trim these all the way up into this black line, up to the black line of the stamped image. I'm going to trim it up all the way to here so that when I sit it on here, we've got a nice black glitter shadow. And the way I'm going to be coloring these is using the technique where I have already pulled my inks out. I got Grape, Wisteria, and Sapphire. They are all colors in this collection. You can tell because it says right here on the zip strip. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the technique where you go like this with your ink pad. You pull this off. You see the ink has transferred to the top. Take your water brush, add a little bit of water. We're going to just swirl it in, right? Look how deep that is. If you add more water, it'll be lighter. So it depends on if you want lighter, like over here where more water is, or darker down here where not so much water is. Um, I'm going to start with lighter to see if that's what I like. If you do this as your technique, as a technique, I, before I put this back on my ink pad, I will wipe it down with like, um, just a paper, just a paper towel, just to get the water off of it. So it doesn't, you know, compromise my ink pad in any way. But anyways, I'm just going to take the color like this and we'll just kind of watercolor paint him, paint around. Maybe I'll make... Some of the circles, we can do the circle. And it doesn't matter if I go outside the lines over here because I'm cutting down all the way to right. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the circles right here. Maybe we can color them black to add in some more black, or perhaps we can put some um, stickles on those, or I could just paint them like this with the wisteria or the sapphire I pulled out. I don't really know if I'm going to be using a lot of sapphire. I'm not a big fan of um, navy blues or dark blues with black, and I am going heavy on black, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, I doubt we're going to use a sapphire, but I did pull it out. So for the dots, we might just put some black stickles or something on there, but this is the technique I'm using to color these. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. It is freehand. It is supposed to look freehand because, guys, this is our albums that we are making. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do that technique. All right, so I'm going to go away, get my white cardstock out. I'm going to paint my butterflies, and then I'm going to glue them to their shadow, their glitter shadows. I'm going to cut my, my pattern paper into, oops, look what I did. Ah, I'm going to cut my pattern paper into a diagonal, put it down on some cardstock, and um, pull out three photo placement holders. I'll probably figure out or try to figure out what I want to do for the pattern papers behind here and kind of measure them out a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go away and do. I want to tell you guys that if you have any questions about any, now that I'm not really showing you my whole process, if you have any questions about any of the techniques I use, please do ask about them. Maybe I can make a short um, video showing the technique. So please, if you have any questions about any of the techniques that I am using, please do ask. Please do ask the questions. Give me something to do. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, I have all my pieces cut. Um, I put the photo placement holders on this cardstock and then backed it with, um, some pattern paper. So here is the sketch again. So I have this little piece already cut and inked up and it's going to go here somewhere. It's going to tuck in here and go up. Okay. Something like that. Then I got the small one that's going to go down here and it's going to tuck in under here somehow. Just a little bit, just to give me a little bit of pink down here. Okay, so I, I mean, I'll put this all down straight when I go away. And so then I did cut out a tag. I used this tag. It's the, oh, this isn't a Swedish Honey Pack. I don't know what tag that, or what this um, tag die is called, but I used that one. The Close to My Heart one. And I put black glitter. So that's going to go somewhere around in that area. Here's still our sketch. Okay, so then we have got banners. So I have these three banners. You know, I think... Yep, I'm, I'm going to flip this to that way. So then I got the, these three banners. I put this one in the center. It's the same pattern as the one up on the top. So we have the three banners. They're going to come down. They're three inches across, so they're going to come down right the same as those photo mats do. Um, like that. This one might be a little bigger than three inches. Oops. Oops. I might have to fix that. I'll fix that and trim this down. It's a little wider than three inches. I think it was three inches this way, and I cut it wrong. I cut the banner right here instead of cutting the banner from this side. <laughs> did you understand that? Yeah. Sure did that. <clears throat> okay, so then for this bit right here, we got those swirly do's. So we're going to take the swirly do's, put those down. And then this is how the butterflies came out. So I really want to put one right here. And I think I'm going to put one right here. 
And I think I'm gonna use this small one up here. Cause I got, I have a circle piece that I'm just gonna tuck under. Right there. Just for some layering. I'll probably put thread, or not thread, but um, crochet thread through that. And then we have moment, happy moments. So, where are we going to put our title? It's sticking to the paper. Funny story, these alphas never stick and suddenly, suddenly they want to stick. Okay, I'm going to have to do this part off camera because I'm getting a lot of stickage. Okay, so we're going to just go with this for starters. I'm going to go ahead and put this down like this-ish. Oh, I also cut out some cute little leaves I thought we could tuck around the page. If it if it looks okay, <laughs> this one something like that, and then I think we're gonna do have to do something with black dots or something. Maybe I can get my glitter paper out. I wonder what this would look like. Glitter paper, maybe just what happens if we just do some regular glitter dots. What do you think about those? We'll put these down around the page as our finishing touch. What do you think? Yay, nay, they're all gonna be the same size. I still also got these, but I need to get more black in here on here. Um, yeah, I'll figure this out later. Let me go ahead and put this down and figure out this title and come back. Figure this out too. All right. So a couple of things I want to do talk about. I found this on my desk. It was actually sitting in this little thing and the end was broke off. So I glued it back together. That's why I hadn't used it, but I kind of like this scripty font on here with these um, swirly do's down here. I like it better than happy moments. And I'm thinking the only problem is I don't have photos for this happy moments, you know, pretty much any photo, right? Noted. I don't know. And noted is something, <laughs> noted is something that my husband, my husband, my deceased husband would, um, say in that kind of and it was something when he would say it it kind of um meant whatever <laughs> if you say something to him and he said noted it, it kind of meant whatever <laughs> i kind of took on saying that um a little bit i don't say it too much anymore now that i don't hear him saying it all the time it's not you know a natural response anymore but yeah anyways it would work for photos of him and talking about that however it's um pretty girly so butterflies no so yeah i'm gonna make a decision about that and then i wanted to show you this um this little spot right here now this probably does not bother anybody but me i this right here I don't like that spot. You can also see where I tucked in some of these leaves. So I do have another one of those leaves. I haven't inked it yet. And I do have a little butterfly. And I was thinking about, you know, putting that in here somewhere and putting the butterfly, you know, just to have another one. And then I can fill up that big white gap that's annoying me. <laughs> like this or something, you know. So I think I'll do something like that. Um, 
after that guys I think we're gonna be done I'm gonna go ahead and ink around the edge of here so let me come back and we'll see the final um, title uh, if we don't use this title happy moments then we'll use it on our next layout but whatever um we'll see we'll see what our title is going to be and do that and ink the edges and then I think we're going to be done except for finishing touches I did find a couple of these little stickers that were out for a previous layout so we can kind of put these down around a page if we want to um yeah and then we'll come back and see what's what's up all right so I went with noted as you can see um, I don't know if you can see this, but I painted it with um, the black, my black uh, glitter pen. And I put it on this block because I think we're going to finish off with splatters. So um, the way I kind of like to do splatters with the glitter pen because I want to have a little bit more control. I'll put um, quite a bit on my block and do it that way. Feel like I get a little bit more control not a lot but maybe a little bit you can also like flick it off your block like that that was a lot guys so now I'm gonna have to do it up here flick <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do that's all the splatters that's plenty right Plenty of splatters right there. Okay, so looking at this, it's really cute. But you know, I said I said we were gonna be done. But I think this is all the glitter gems I have left, and I can think I can do uh, of this sheet of the uh, sugar plum glitter gems. This is what I have left, and I think I'm going to try to get this used up in March because there's not that many on there. So. I've been using them quite a bit. We'll just, uh, with this collection, so we'll just um, continue on with it, right? Just give us a little bit down around the page. Try not to smudge these splatters. What do you think that's cute I love it you know what I think if I was going to be changing something I think what it would be is um, I might have made these or at least one if not two or three of these a solid cardstock color like that tag that's put out probably what I would change or do a solid cardstock border around it because um, it just blends in, even with the inking, it just blends into this background paper. So I would change that. But that's about it. I think this is really cute. Um, even with my flicking of the splatters. Which obviously not very controllable for me. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you'd like to support my channel, please go to beckybeating.closetomyheart.com. You can pick yourself up this collection. It is the Life's a Hoot collection. Um, this, not part of the collection. Not part of Close to My Heart at all. Everything else is Close to My Heart on here. So, yep. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.